Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM on your Android device after you've used the revolutionary method to root it. Okay, now before you begin, you must have done our how to gain S off, flash a custom recovery, and root your Android phone using the revolutionary method procedure. If you haven't, please click on this link here to be taken to that procedure. Follow it, assuming that your phone is listed for that procedure in the before you begin. Then once you're done, you can come back to this procedure and continue. Okay, so in order to load a ROM, obviously you need a ROM to load. So we're gonna click on our ROM section link here to be taken to our Android ROMs page. Then scroll down and look for your device. I'm using the HD Sensation for this video, so I'm gonna click on that. And be taken to the HD Sensation ROMs. At the time of me writing this, there's only one ROM um, for the Sensation, but There'll be more, I'm sure, in due time. So, click on that to be taken to that ROMs page. If you scroll down, you'll see the download link. Simply click on that. And scroll down in the first post by the developer. You should find an actual download link. So we're going to click on that and save that to our desktop, for example. Okay, so now that we are downloading the ROM, we can plug in our phone via USB. And we're going to select disk drive. Done. This way we can transfer files to the SD card. Okay, so once your device's SD card pops up on your computer, whether it's a Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. You'll see it like this, and then we can take our rom.zip file. Do not extract it, leave it as a .zip, and we're going to just copy it over to the root of our SD card. Now this means just on the SD card itself, not inside any of these folders, so it's just removable disk, or in my case, no name, and the file. And let that transfer. Okay, so once you've transferred the ROM file onto your SD card, we can unplug the device. And then we're going to Turn it off. And take out the battery. And then put it back in. And hold down volume down and power at the same time and keep holding them. So we get to this screen and you're going to use the volume buttons to select. We're going to scroll down to recovery, hit power to choose it and wait for it to boot into recovery mode. Once it does, we're going to scroll down to backup and restore first and hit backup. And this is going to create a backup of our current original ROM that we're using just in case. Okay, eventually it'll say backup complete. So now we can use the volume arrows and go down to wipe data factory reset. Select yes. Wait for it to finish doing that. Okay, and then scroll down to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And we're going to choose the rom.zip file that we just put on the SD card. Select yes. And wait for it to flash. Okay, and eventually it'll say rom was successfully flashed. We're going to scroll to go back. And then hit reboot system now. Wait for the phone to reboot. Okay, and then once the phone boots up and you go through your normal setup screen, You'll be running your new custom ROM. If you want to try out a different ROM, simply repeat this procedure and download a different ROM from our ROM section uh, and then flash it the same way you did this one. You can do this as many times as you want. If you don't like the ROM, just change it. Uh, and there you go, enjoy.